my life on the X list. Hey everyone, it's me, the Diva X, and it is Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you watching. Um, this is my costume for Halloween. I wasn't, um, I, I, for the Exotica show, I normally usually try to wear the same costume because it's much easier, but I was a doctor for the Halloween show, and that wasn't really that exciting, and so I decided, I, I mean, I, and I don't like to go out and buy a costume because that's not fun, because then the likelihood of someone wearing it is just too high, and then... Plus, I'm a plus-size model, so us plus-size models don't really have a lot of options. And then, I just like being creative. So, um, I don't, I, just like I was telling my friends, like, they're like, what are you going to be, what are you, I'm like, I don't know. Like, today was the first day I've actually ever thought about it. And I was just going through all the stuff that I had, and, um, this is what I came up with. I, um, had everything. Um, I'm wearing, um, you can't, let's see, I'm wearing a black corset. It's like a black leather corset from, like, the body. I'm not going to stand up just because it's hard to get up with this corset. It's hard to get down with the corset, actually. It's not hard to get up. Um, but anyways, um, and that's not really the premise of this vlog. But anyways, uh, you'll probably see more pictures soon um, if you follow me. Yeah, but today I, I was watching um, um, this. Uh, I don't know if you guys watch on, uh, I think it's on a &E, It's on bio and it's like all about whatever. And today was all about Freddy Krueger, uh, the, the series of Freddy Krueger movies. And I saw a picture, they, they were like going through like, I guess they were like using it for art, for inspiration. And I saw this picture and I was like, well, I'll just put something together. And then I, I mean, I want, I had the horns, um, makeup. I obviously had, um, this is all airbrushed on. If you, you, I mean, you can't really tell, I guess what it, how it's on or whatever. But this is all airbrushed on um, with the airbrush machine and then um, contoured on the cheeks and um, eyeliner for the lips, lip liner, and then all this is just pencil work. And in the eyes, it's uh, shadow and pigment. So that's fun. I had the contacts. I've worn these before. Um, this bodysuit, red bodysuit I've had. Um, but anyways, I don't know why I'm going into my costume. But anyways, I haven't made videos because I've just been super busy with getting stuff ready for the Halloween show, getting stuff ready for Rocky, well, I just helping with Rocky Horror, um, doing little things here and there, um, that's already done, and just really kind of getting stuff organized and, and getting things organized, and <sighs> it's hard being organized, it's exhausting, oh, excuse me, just had a little hiccup, it's exhausting, and, um, but I had to come on here for Halloween to make a video, of course. Um, what's going on? Um, not much is going on new with me. I've just been, um, you know, the past three weeks, once it comes to Halloween season, things get kind of crazy with Halloween, um, with costumes, and everyone who needs usually help or inspiration for costumes, they give me a call, which is fine, and I have no problem, um, you know, guiding them or, um, giving them some kind of, um, thoughts and opinions of what, what's what. So, um, that's, that's been my life for the past three weeks. Yeah, I mean, once Rocky Horror kicks in, it's like, it's all ready to go. Like, it just happens. Boom, boom, boom. Rocky, um, Exotica Halloween show. I mean, this is how it usually falls. Rocky Halloween show, um, Halloween, and then it's all over. And then you get ready for Thanksgiving, and then New Year's is coming. And so, um, that's really, that's really all you can, um, that's how it runs. That's how it is. Um, music-wise, I just got this new track called The Time from Black e Black Eyed Peas. It's hear it in the background. It's the Dirty Dancing, The Time of My Life by the Black Eyed Peas. Like, you guys, I literally, literally like, I shit my pants because it's really good. Like, lately I haven't, I don't know why this is, there we go. I was like, why does that look like it's like on my, it was up, it was like up here. That was crazy. Um, Anyways, back to Black Eyed Peas. It's a really good track. I love it. Um, I love that song. I like the original. Um, and I think Fergie does it justice. And I just have to tell you guys, if you guys have an opportunity to get it, The Time um, by Black Eyed Peas. It's called The Time, The Dirty Bit. Which I don't know if that's Dirty Bitch or if that's just the bit. Or I don't know what the hell it is. But um, it is what it is. And dirty bit. yay, that's it. Um, Friday night, I had a really good Friday night, actually. I stood in, I didn't, I planned on going out, but I, no, I didn't really plan on going out. I was thinking I was going out, I didn't, I, then my friend Anthony, you guys know he's been on the, um, videos before, um, he called me, or he actually texted me days, a couple days before, 
um, asking if we want to do a wine night, and we, you know, we just sit back, drink wine, and watch TV and bullshit and stuff. Well, he did, and he actually followed through, and um, he came over, and we enjoyed some wine. It's called Menage a Trois. Uh, apparently, it's like three wines in one, which is, um, it was good. It was great. Um, and then, unexpectedly, I got a call from Emmanuel, and he's like in tower. He's like drunk off his ass, I'm, just, I'm assuming, because um, he was kind of like, uh, uh <laughs> yeah. And, um, he's like, hey girl, can we stop by? I'm like, yeah, stop by. So they stopped by, they hung out for a few minutes. Like, I mean, um, you know, it was like two in the morning. Was it two in the morning? Yeah, it was, it was just about two in the morning because the clubs are closing. And, um, then he, uh, then Mal blah, 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 blah. then Malibu calls me and he's like, girl, my truck won't start. Well, okay, well, where are you at? Like, do you need me to go get you? What's, what do you, <laughs> like, I, I get it. Your truck's not starting, but what do you need from me? And how can I help you? Like, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm like, well, what do you need from me? He's like, well, if you, you know, if you have company, I'm like, well, if you need me to go get you, because that's the type of person I am. If my friends need me, particularly, especially, not particularly, especially my good friends, they need me. I mean, I trust everyone that was here, so I wouldn't, like, say leave. I'd be like, I'll be right back. Or, you know, whatever, would arrange it. So that's just the type of person I am. So I was just like, you know, if you need me to go get you, I will go get you. Like, just tell me what's up. So, ultimately, he uh, needed me to go get him. So, but Emmanuel and them, I guess, had people waiting at their house for them. So, they bounced. I don't know why I'm telling this whole story. But um, then it was, like, raining hella hard. So, um, went to pick up Malibu. Me and Anthony went to pick up Malibu. And we get in the parking lot. And we pick him up. Then there's this lady that's walking towards my car. Like, we're in the driveway, like, out ready to, like, turn. We're just waiting for, like, I'm just waiting for the boys to decide where they were going to want to eat at. Well, she gets, like, crazy because I think she thought we were, like, wanted to buy her, like, buy her vagina. And we were, obviously, we're not in the market for some vagina. I mean, we wanted some meats, but we didn't want that kind of meats. Um, you know, we were trying to decide where we were going to go eat. And um, then she started flipping us off like she was crazy, which she was probably really crazy. But um, that's just how it is. Sorry, lady. I don't do vagina. Well, yeah. Vagina's not on my menu. It is what it is, folks. I don't know. Um, that's really it. Um, I must tell you guys, I, I said it on here a couple times. I think, no, I actually said it on here one time before, but I will tell you, yeah, I didn't do my hands because I'm gonna wear gloves. Eh, I know, but whatever, it is what it is. And, um, I've been meaning to, uh, I think I said it on here on my telephone blog video that, um, Boogie Cupcakes are the bomb. If you live anywhere in the, in the Fresno area, I, I don't know, maybe he'll show them to you if you live elsewhere. Hit the, okay, and I'm gonna, I, I, I feel bad saying this because it's not anything bad about negative about his cupcakes, but his frosting is the shit. Like, I don't know, it's like, a, it's the cream cheese frosting, I believe that's what he calls it. Anyways, you can get more details on his, uh, cupcake gurry thingy, um, on the bloogie blog, bloogie, boogie blog dot net, and there you can find a link to him. But his cupcakes, or the, the frosting especially... Oh, Halloween show went amazing. We have footage of that. I will be putting those up on the Exotica channel. Um, so those of you who haven't subscribed to that, I know some of you guys are slowly starting to do that. And the new promo will be out. Actually, I think before I leave, I'm going to unpersonalize it so that way everyone can watch it. Because um, I said before the weekend's over, and um, we have about, and now we're in 15 minutes before the weekend's over. So um, technically, I need to get it up. But anyways, uh, the frosting is amazing, and... Uh, order some get some i mean or come to the show when we give them away they are amazing that's what people have been doing just like try them come 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 try them out um but anyways yeah halloween show was great we did the exotic asylum and the girls were crazy like we had blood everywhere like okay the funniest moment like i don't know i know i played out on stage because i was just like so i felt so bad that i did it but we had syringes full of needles and uh full of, syringes full of fake blood so i can just squirt people and, and like whatever well squirt the the doctors and stuff so i had one and mal was like here here's another shot and i'm like i'm not taking a bitch and i had it like under his neck like this and he was like take the shot take the shot i'm like bitch i'm not taking a shot and i wasn't my intentions were not to squeeze it but like it was full of blood and i squeeze it and blood just like gush like it went it squirted everywhere it was everywhere so it was pretty cool i loved it <laughs> and i felt so bad after and that's what played out on stage when you guys saw on stage me apologizing to him and like wiping him up that was us because i did it it happened like right as a as the song was ending so it's like go time like you know but anyways, that's it for me, because I've already talked for 10 minutes, and I know we can do longer videos now, but um, my I don't know if iMovie allows longer videos yet, so I'm going to stop now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe, and happy Halloween! 